It is 618 on your Tuesday morning and what a morning it is. It is going to take your breath away when you step foot out the door this morning and not for good reasons. Unfortunately, we are talking about the possibility of frostbite even across the Treasure Valley this morning. Normally we talk about it up in the mountains, right? But look at this. So at 10 degrees with an air temperature reading of 10 degrees and just a 10 mile per hour wind that makes it feel like negative four. And we are seeing conditions like this right now in the valley. It only takes 30 minutes at a wind chill of negative four for frostbite to set in on that exposed skin and your fingers, your nose and your ears, your toes also are most at risk. Those little exposed digits can be susceptible to frostbite very quickly. And it really is a real danger. These are our current wind chill readings, our feels like temperatures outside. In Mountain Home, it feels like five below zero. Twin Falls, it feels like 12 below. It has calmed down a little bit in the mountains. These are pretty close to their actual readings right now, but that is still frigid. 12 below zero in McCall right now. Even Ontario, it feels like just six degrees. Now, it is about 12 degrees, maybe 11 degrees at the Boise Airport right now. That is within five degrees of our all time record low for this date, which was was set back in 1887 and in fact we've only had two mornings this entire winter season so far that have been at 10 degrees or below. So this tells you just how cold it is and look at our high temperature. Our normal overnight low is 29. We expect to only hit 30 degrees today, so it is going to be another intensely cold day. Now the wind won't be quite as intense. That's the one piece of good news here, but it will still be a little bit breezy out of the northwest. That biting wind will still be popping up from time to time. We're seeing a couple of very light snow showers in Pocatello. Those are melting away as we speak this morning. I have to uh, note as well, we do have a chance of some snow flurries popping up tomorrow across the valley because of this disturbance right here. However, they'll be hard to track because our Boise radar site, the Doppler radar is undergoing some maintenance this week, so we will not be able to have access to that. It won't show current precipitation across the region all the way through Saturday and that might come into play tomorrow. Maybe I'll have to have you guys help me out on Facebook and on Twitter tomorrow. If you start seeing snow flurries where you are in the morning, we expect them to come in later in the morning tomorrow, but there is a slim chance of a flurry or two that takes some cloud cover, which we will not have today. So no chance of flurries today, but a good chance of intense cold. 32 degrees are expected high for Caldwell and Ontario, just 30 in Mountain Home and Boise today, 22 and sunny in Idaho City. Very cold, but clear in McCall. They're high. I expect it to be only 15 degrees this afternoon. 15 as well in Stanley after starting off well below zero, a high of just 20 and a little bit breezy in Fairfield. And it will be a bone chilling day in the Magic Valley. 24 the high for Twin Falls. Still with those winds out of the west gusting up to 25 miles per hour at times. So if you can avoid the outdoors, maybe just enjoy the sunshine looking out at it like a cat on a windowsill or my dogs on the little uh, rug in front of the sliding glass door. For tomorrow, more cloud cover, but that will allow for a bit of a milder morning, just 19 degrees tomorrow with a chance of flurries off and on throughout the day.